recording of this. So, on the frame that your speed doubles, uh, actually that's weird, OBS is showing a different one. It's showing, what the hell, that's weird. OBS is showing the previous frame for me. But yeah, the speed's gonna double, look at the speedometer, bam, and it'll, uh, load the, it'll double the speed, that's the shift boost. And because of the two frame delay of the, uh, engine, you want to press A two frames before that. And it turns out that around this speed, it was optimal to make sure the engine was on for this, the, this, the frame it doubles, uh, the frame after, one, so one, two, three, and four, four frames. And that gets it to 2774. So if I let go on this frame instead, five frames after, the double part or the shift boost, it'll be a little lower. Frame earlier. A little lower. So, the, the, the amount of time you want to hold A, I think, is going to change dependent on your speed. Since if you're, like, at 1,000 kilometers an hour and you were to shift boost up to, like, 1,300, then you wouldn't want to let go of A at all because you're below the MT point the whole time. And then as you steadily get faster and faster as you do uh, different shift boosts or higher speed shift boosts, the amount of time that you'd want to hold A would decrease. But what would always be the same is that uh, is the exact frame you want you want to start holding A is the frame that the speed doubles. Or two frames before that, sorry. So, uh, basically, the cue to look for is one, two... It, it, it's like right as you re-enter the track. That's when you want to tap A. A little... Because, yeah, you get the shift boost the frame after by the look of it, so... It, it's like the frame before you re-enter the track. That's when you want to press A. And at high speeds, it really is just a tap. Like, this is uh, four frames. And that means uh, as you're going you know, on Trident here down these slopes, the first shift boost, you'd probably hold it for like seven frames. The next one would be six, and then five, and then four. And then probably it would like go to like three, 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 something like that. But I don't think people can reliably press like exactly two or three frames and sh shit like that on on command. So I'd say just like with these last shift boosts, especially, you would just want to tap it right uh, before you re-enter the track. <laughs> 